So, some time ago now, I went over to the redeem code section and redeemed an item which probably cost someone a couple of dollars to get. And now it's in literally in the hundreds of dollars. And quickly, before we do get into this video, with trading now gone from Rocket League, this is the next best thing by far. You can literally buy some of the rarest redeem codes in the whole entire game. So, don't go spending $20 on a random black market. Click the link in the description and check it out today. The Slurpy Decal. Now, these were retailing about $500 when trading, obviously was still active in the game. I have no clue what they're worth in this day and age, but to think you could have literally bought like a dollar drink and got this decal. Absolutely ridiculous. It's the same for the boost. I'm pretty sure the boost is worth way more, but we're paying respect to this. The Slurpy decal is definitely the better option. I think a lot of people want to get this thing and there probably is still a few codes in the game, but oh my god, they are running quite low and they're quite expensive. But yeah, I'm pretty sure on the website, there is obviously sponsoring the channel. I don't know if we've got them, unfortunately, but it is what it is. We're going to open up with the Slurpy Decal. We've whacked the Mantis on as well because maybe that's what we need for the luck. They look the best for the exotics when you whack on the Mantis. And hopefully today, you know, we get Striker Burst here off the bat. So we're going to open seven each. So go down to 296k of each of the crates. And then we're going to open up the brand... Well, I say brand new. The Pumpkins 22. It's a new crate for me, so it's interesting. Because uh, to think, we started on... How many crates did we even start on? We started on... Yeah, how many was it exactly? So many crates um, for the eggs, at least. Anyway, with eggs alone, we have 1.5k. So the fact that we're down to the last 300 of these eggs is actually quite sad. You know, we haven't got white zombies yet. We haven't really got that many painted zombies. Uh... Which isn't ideal, but, you know, it's what it is. We'll just see what we can do today. How you do, leave a comment down below. And, yeah, let's just run it, boys. Let's run it. Let's see what sort of luck we can get. Uh, so, we need to do how many more of these? I've lost count already. If we do this, and then I think that's it. Literally, these videos are going to be so, so different now. Because we've got so many crates we have to go through. So many different types. Uh, so, if we go down here. Yeah. Wow, okay. So, we've got seven each. That was seven straight away, and the luck obviously was not there. But we got so many different crates, so many opportunities to get some absolute bangers. So sit back, relax, and let's have a good time. Let's get a good item for the Slurpy decal. I mean, can they replace the Slurpy decal with Black Market decal? I, uh, you know, I wouldn't complain about it. But, you know, with my luck at the moment, not getting a Black Market in nearly 400 crates now, I'm pretty sure, which is atrocious. You know, I'm sort of expecting the worst. So, you know, at least having a decal that's worth hundreds of dollars for people to actually get in this day and age. You know, it's not too bad. It's not the end of the world whatsoever. But, yeah, I think I'm going to be releasing this either early April. It should be late March, though, know, depending on how many videos I make on the brand new season 14. So, yeah, we're getting close to, I think we're just over a week until we hit season 14 when I'm recording this video. Uh, so, yeah, it's been quite a long time. But I need to watch out. Okay, we've got one more of these moves. I'm piling through them way too quickly. I don't want to overshoot and open too many of a certain crate. But yeah, this final one. The f okay, the thread X2 is not an ideal. Will. Okay, now we go over here. We open up these pumpkins. And this is going to be, yeah, it's, it's a bit weird. Because I've got to try and work out logically how many to open up which crate. So it's definitely going to get a little bit confusing. But we should be fine. You know, when we get a black market, it will calm the nerves a little bit. But... Okay, have we got have we got an import yet? I'm trying to work out. Have we had an import? Okay, there's the import. At least we haven't had it. Okay. Okay, Zenos Pack. We've already talked about that in a previous video. You can now use that on Fortnite, which is great. Who cares? You can now use boosts in Fortnite. So I guess when you like spam the boost button, that's what pops up in Rocket Racing. I've got no idea. I don't really want to know to be honest. But uh, I was going to say we haven't got an import in exotic yet. It's going to be the Chaos Wheels. Okay, interesting. Um, once again, this might be a video where we have to open up some of the other crates as well if we don't get a luck. Because my luck at the moment is absolutely atrocious. This is the worst streak of luck I've had ever. Because um, we got so many black markets. In the first 3,000 crates, it was feet up, getting black markets non-stop, no stress whatsoever. Now, we are genuinely just, like, clinging on to exotics. Like, it's been that bad. Uh, but we should have a trade-up video somewhat soon. We're going to have, like... 2.7k once we get this video done. So, still quite a lot of crates to go for, obviously. But it's going to, you know, that should go through quite quickly. Uh, we get an import there. Okay. I mean, it's the best side of the video so far. Titanium White Luck, finally. Sapsarishis look kind of clean. All right, decent. I, I don't think that's a highlight. That, I'm going to be real. That is not a highlight. Because, oh, back to back. Cyrus, please. Maybe I need to unequip the, what is it, the Voltex. Maybe I... Stick with Pig Pixel having these Crimson Volts. And I need to put on the Emerald Pros again. Because, oh, wow. We need some sort of luck. We need some sort of change to happen at the moment. Because the luck's just not there. And the fact 
We've opened so many crates with no black markets. It's actually painful. I keep just going into each video, you know. Just saying to myself. We've got to get a black market in soon enough. And we finally do it. Party time. Not bad. Little no reaction crate. All right. We definitely take it. Thank God, boys. All right. <laughs> we're good. As I talk about the black market, imagine, I've never got back to back black markets. I've seen it on videos. But just imagine the scenes if you get back to back. Of course, it's a party time. It's a duplicate. But I'm just glad the streak is finally over where we could just sit back and actually relax a little bit. We've got the black market sorted. You know, exhausts wouldn't go amiss. And, of course, stacking up the imports for trade-up videos isn't the... You know, that isn't the worst thing in the world. So, hopefully, you know, we've turned the corner now. We're going to be getting non-stop bangers. Back-to-back -back imports is not bad whatsoever. If you think about it logically, if you open up crates and every single time you got an import, would you be annoyed? I feel like you would because you could never get a black market. But imports from crates aren't bad at all. Like, if you get an import, you could trade up five... So, five crates gets you a paid exotic, potentially... Yeah, you take that. You actually do. When you deep it like that, you definitely take it. And every single 25 imports you get, so 25 crates, is a black market. You definitely do take If you put it like that, you definitely do take imports and above. I'm not sure about very rares. Obviously, rares don't want to go near them. Every exotic's a W, regardless. And obviously, black market. Guaranteed certified dub. Unless you get a duplicate Sky Blue 20XX. But Dom Matrix underrated decal. I'm going to say it. It's actually really clean. So, now we've got that done. I think we opened four of these and we'll be on the exact amount for every single crate. We're going to have 296 of each. And then for future videos, we'll open like seven each. Of, seven of each crate? That'll be 42. What are these? Like, what? These are all new items to me. Uh, but yeah, that works out so, so nice. We haven't done a drink crate yet. We'll do it after this because, you know, rare, not ideal. We get ourselves a purple decal for a centi. Okay, drink crate. Let's see it. We can't have two good items. Yeah, we can't have two black markets, anything like that. What is this? Like, this is so new to me. And yeah, we'll open up this one. I'm pretty sure there was a glitch as well where you couldn't trade up items from this uh, golden crate. So hopefully that's been patched now. But yeah, we're just, just to make sure. I'm pretty sure that's worked out nicely though. Yeah, we've got 296, 296, 296, 296. Uh, next is going to be... I don't even know what's going to be up next. Uh, some of the lanterns, maybe. Yeah, lanterns. All right. Seems like it's going to be that way. Let's go to the most recent, though. And... Oh, my God. This game is so glitchy at the moment. Like, they're just not fixing inventory glitches at, at all or syncing them up. But if we go over here, we have got ourselves... You know what? A black market. It's fine by me. I know it's party time. It's certified guardian. I'll be so, so surprised if we've got a duplicate of that. So, I'm pretty sure we're fine there. Uh, we've got a duplicate there, though. Titanium White Saptorishis. Could have gone a lot worse. So, yeah, we'll definitely take it. Of course, make sure you subscribe for more daily Rocket League content. And, yeah, I'll see you tomorrow.